Hi everyone, welcome. So I've taken kind of a long hiatus on Attack on Titan. <clears throat> the first, I believe, five episodes that I watched were based, were done, I, I'd like to say about three months ago. And so I'm just, I watched the last episode, the, the From You, 2000 Years From Now, or whatever the, whatever the title was called. I just watched like the last part just to kind of refresh my memory, which that episode blew me away. I, I loved it. But um, I get into these moods where I'm like, I love what I love what I'm watching. And then all of a sudden I'm just like bored. I just get very bored. And I think with Attack, it's such a weird thing because it's like, it's a show I adore. It's a show that I absolutely love. But I think because I know, like, it's the end. It's pretty much the end game. So I don't know what else can come... I guess I don't know what else can shock me at this point. Um, but I want to obviously finish the story and see how it, how it ends. And, <laughs> and, like, the way it's going, it's going pretty crazy. And, uh, yeah, it's like Aaron's basically saying, I... I'm going to protect my people, I'm going to protect myself, I'm going to protect our future, and that means we got to kill everybody else. And uh, it's an interesting perspective. <laughs> so we shall see what happens. Um, but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm feeling like the vibe is back, like I need to watch Attack on Titan again. And I'm, so I'm thankful I haven't po like been posting um, these reactions yet because you guys would have been like, wait, where'd you go? <laughs> so. You know, it's been a very up and down like year and the last couple of years. So trying to get back on my feet, trying to get back to me and um, trying to finish this awesome show out. Um, so if you if you're interested in full time reactions or anything like that, those links are down in the description box below. I'm going to get into this. Man, oh man. Yeah, I mean, that's a terrifying sight. <laughs> I love it. This is all of Aaron's rage. That's what this song is. It's just, I've had enough. Fuck everybody, you know? That's really what this is. Because he's known everything for so long now. That's why he's just... He's so numb. He, he knows everything. What do you do when you know everything? He's basically a god at this point. But I love the rage in this song. But there's still a glimmer of hope. There's still a glimmer of hope. Because Aaron still has that in him. It's, it's far, it's deep. That, that hopeful Aaron is deep, 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 buried deep below, but he's still there. And his, he's still, he has his friends, Aaron and Mikasa. I mean, Armin and Mikasa, but yeah, the rage. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's Annie's dad. <laughs> Go dig a ditch and hide in that ditch. It's, that's, I don't think that'll stop it. Hmm. Hide. Stay there. <sighs> she's so much like Aaron, it's just so funny. And she looks just like Aaron. <laughs> hmm. Well, will it? Oh, okay, they've got him. Not all of them, 
But the, the, the people in power, yes. But everybody else, like the majority, is innocent. <laughs> yeah. Damn. The realization. Oh! oh. 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 Oh, that's a tough one. Mm, the Connie is stuck on this. Oh no. I totally forgot about his mom. Oh, who's coming? Oh my goodness gracious. Just gonna go. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this is still scary. I can't believe it. This is actually still terrifying. After how many years have we watched this damn show? Getting eaten by titans is not... You just don't get used to it. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my god. Get up, 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 get up. Get up. Oh my goodness. Oh, but she, no, you gotta save yourself. Kaya. Gabby, okay, of course. Miss Gabby. <laughs> Damn. Ugh. <laughs> They're like, tch, tch. damn, babe. <laughs> See, Sasha, Sasha comes through. Somehow, she comes through. We can all be good and evil at the same time. Hmm. And I like to believe that we all have a devil and, and, and like God within us. Yeah, we all do. Yeah, there he, there he, he just said it. You work hard on trying to be the best you can be. Yeah. Damn, they just have to watch their friends being eaten alive. Or not. Fighting till the last moment. Like, it is amazing. No, oh, oh. The one that, didn't they not beat his ass? <laughs> they beat him. Did they not? I'm glad he's still alive. Oh wow, is she gonna get taken? <laughs> that pose. Yeah, damn. I mean, Susume, they've got Erwin spirit. Like, keep going. Keep going. We all have to keep going, moving forward.
Damn. <laughs> wow. John. He's <laughs> John looks good. <laughs> oh, is that Pixis? Oh That's so sad. Ooh, John. Damn, they are like, we've got work to do. It doesn't matter if we know these people. Mm. Rest in peace. Oh. This is a very deep message. Just with... They're just not in control. It's like Pixis was uh, this amazing commander and now he becomes a complete monster. And he can't do anything about it. It's like, can we all get to that point? Can we all just get pushed so far that we just lose our soul completely? <laughs> I'm surprised he even got injured with his helmet hair. I'm curious what Yelena's thinking. Or not. She's dead. She's about to be dead. <laughs> yeah, they just let Connie take him too. <laughs> He's long gone. Now the question is, if Falco wakes up, will Connie still feed his feed him to his mother? I don't think so. Wow, four years. Yeah. <laughs> Annie, right? I knew it was going to end. <laughs> Man, this story is, it, it is a beautiful one. That's, you know, that's why I do have to finish it because this is just such an, a, an original story. I can't not finish it. Um, but I am glad I took my break from it because I just, I needed it. I, I'm happy to watch it at this point when the hype has sort of died down and it's a little more quiet and um, I can just kind of relax and try to soak it all in because there's just so much information anyways uh but yeah I, I i think my only thoughts really are the the conversation they're having with gabby and and kaya and all and all of them just about i'm the i'm a devil no i'm a devil no 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 me i'm the devil and I think that that's a really important conversation to have. Just saying, look, I mean, uh, look, most of us haven't murdered people, right? <laughs> but at the same time, everyone has sinned. Everyone does something that's, we've all like done bad things d on a daily basis too. It's just, you know, there's levels to things. But, at this, but I think what we forget as human beings is that, um, it can go either way. It's not like we're, we are good or we are bad. It's we're in the middle. And depending on like your life story, your, your, your belief systems, what, how, how you grew up, what has happened to you in your life, like you'll either go towards the good side or the bad side. And it's just like any one of us, and that's the scary part and it's hard to admit this, but really, truly, any one of us could go to the dark side. We, we do have that devil within us. We just do. I mean, I get jealous. I get, like, spiteful, angry, you know, all, all the above. Like, it's, it's not, um, it's a human thing. It is, and I think it's an important conversation because in, at the end of the day, 
it's like it's easy to choose a side right like especially in our time frame where in 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 our lives like you 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 either left or you're right or you're conservative or you're liberal or whatever the truth is it's just like these are just stupid little titles it doesn't matter erase all of that at the end of the day we're just human we all are the same and some of us just have a different path and we believe different things but we we're all complicated and complex that's just how it is and i think we're simplifying things a little too much recently it isn't this way or that way it's it's all of it it's everything and the and the i think when we can like admit that hey i i suck i'm i can suck really <laughs> we all do i think that's an important quality to have you got to know like you suck you just do how else do you change and nobody's perfect so that's the thing like you you know i know a a few people very close people family members who can do no wrong they never they're always right and they never say sorry they never you know all of that and i know you guys know people like that too and those types of people are the worst because they don't they don't see their wrong so then what how can they even change how can they sympathize with other people they're better they're god so I was watching Midnight Mass. I did reactions to Midnight Mass. And so I'm thinking of like Bev right now, Bev Keen. She's one of those people who everything she does is, is uh, well, God told me to do it. And, and this is God's will, even though she's doing the worst things you could imagine. But I think that religion, beliefs, whatever, they can make you do things. Um, but I don't even think it's the belief itself. It's you. It's me. It's us, and we're just kind of giving uh, that voice of whatever we think God is, or the Bible, or the Quran, um, uh, whatever, the Torah. We, we give that life. And it, when I was talking about Pixis, it's like, you know, some people can get to a place of being like zombified, I think. Like, if you keep doing things over and over and over again, here, like this is gonna get really deep and I'm hope I hope that you guys can stick by and kind of try to understand where I'm coming from I'll use myself in a, as an example I'm just gonna do this really quick because I want to jump into the next episode I as a child I, I grew up in a very Christian household I actually um, now I appreciate this but um, for a really long time, I was like really fighting it and really frustrated and, and there, were, there was a lot of trauma there. But now I do appreciate some of, of my, like uh, the fact that I did grow up in that way. But I was always a kid who wanted to be like Jesus. I thought he was like, he was my superhero. That was my guy. <laughs> like he was just like, this guy heals people, he feeds people, he talks to everyone, he hangs out with everybody. He's awesome. Um, so I loved him and I couldn't, I just could not imagine, it, it was, it, I couldn't comprehend someone giving their life for the, good, for the good of humanity. How could you die for others to save others? Which is maybe gives you a little hint as to why I love Erwin so much and like his thought process of, I don't care if I'm getting bit by a, 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 a Titan you keep going. I'm and I'm gonna. I'm your leader. I'm not. I'm not um, gonna cry out in fear or pain. This is what we're doing. We have a mission to to finish. And I, if I die in the process, that is what it is. But we have to keep going forward. So, um, I always. I think I had a very like pure heart as a child. And and as I grew up, I think that pure that purity was there. However you know, bad things happen in life. And um, I think, not I think, I know. By the time I, I'm in high school and going into like, after high school, I'm more jaded, bitter, I've been hurt, and then I keep getting hurt. So parts of my soul at this point are getting chipped away at, little by little, little by little. And Iman, the Iman I knew, kept she was being f 
forgotten. I didn't know who I was. It almost felt like for the last 10 years, like I was asleep, like comatose, and just kind of letting life just pass me. I was in cruise control and I wasn't manually taking the wheel and, and, and driving myself. I was just, I just let things go because of the pain and the, the, the suffering and all of that. And, and that, that can make people go one way. And so for me, um, I think I always had a, a kindness and a caring towards people, but I noticed that I did things to people that were not nice, that were very hurtful. Um, things that I didn't realize in the moment were not were not great. I always had an excuse. Oh, well, I'm a victim. Oh, I, you know, you know, that whole story. And um, so I, I look back and I think, my goodness, I like it's, I could have been completely lost. And it's an absolute miracle that I'm like, back if that makes sense if you don't know what i'm talking about then this is like what the hell is she talking about? you understand then you, you get you get what i'm saying um but it's it's a thing i truly believe that people can you know they get hurt they get hurt they get hurt or they just they see evil after evil after evil and eventually they're just numb they're just so numb at that point and I don't think I ever was going to be to a point where I would do anything like crazy or anything like it's not like that it was just I think for me personally I just was like I'm just not going to be in control of my life so whatever I don't want to do it I just will um you know I'm it's t I'm too tired I'm I'm stuck like I'm just stuck and I couldn't get myself out I was drowning I just couldn't get out and uh, but you know, whereas other people they become very cold and they blame the world and then they want to hurt the world This is Aaron right now. Like he's blaming the whole world But it's not the whole whole world's fault for them like for the injustices that the um, Eldians have suffered. It's because of a, a, a small group of people that the Eldians have suffered so so greatly. It's not the whole world. So again, Aaron, Aaron is he's he's gone to that side, to this side. And um, you know, it, I truly believe it's possible for everyone to come back. It's just harder. It's so much harder to come out of that. But it's not it's not impossible. Um, but it's it's in, and like you see it with Gabby. Like Gabby is going back and forth and and realizing, you know, and like, yeah, shoot, like I, I make a lot of mistakes, but she's a kid and she's learning and kids, kids are resilient. They're much more resilient than adults and they can bounce back a lot quicker. Um, so that I'm very hopeful for, for Falco and for Gabby, because I know Connie is not going to be able to, to, to do it. It's just not going to happen. He's not going to feed, feed, uh, feed. Falco to his mother. I just don't. I just don't think he will. He won't do it. Um, but yeah. I so I I do think that people can turn into a Pixis where it's like he was this great person and then all of a sudden, you know, he just completely changes. There's stories like that where people hit their heads, like their frontal lobes, and they're like completely change or maybe CTE. There's all kinds of things. Taking extreme drugs and, and never coming back from that there's there's just so many things but I, I feel like it's 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 easy to just put the blame and scapegoat the people who are making the obvious wrong choices it's 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 easy to be like yeah he's bad he's bad but it's like do you realize that you can like we can be that in that place too it's like it's the truth. It just depends on if, if you don't, if you're not there, you are lucky. You're privileged because you had a really nice life and you never had to have these like, que you never questioned anything. But yeah, I, I hope what I'm saying makes a little bit of sense because it, I see, I just see it a little bit in this story. And um, yeah, I, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm stuck on the outro and it's like the bird right now the bird that's like golden and, and he's in the sky. 
Birds have been a part of this story from day one. They're very important. And birds are the most free creatures. They get to fly and soar and and um, do whatever they want. <laughs> they're, they're pretty damn awesome. So, I don't know. I'll, it's uh, like, they represent freedom, peace. I don't know. I don't know, that was just random. Attack on Titan's too good. I just can't watch one episode. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.